Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Liverpool Career Mode here on FIFA 19. Right, well, last episode was a bit of a, um, a shock, I suppose, but it was a bit, it was like it wasn't expected, wasn't it? That result against Tottenham, but in the end, um, we showed them a lesson. But I mean, their back four was pretty weak, wasn't it? When it came, comes down to it, like sort of thing. We've now got Fulham, but then it's two days later. And again, it just seems to be giving us just this two-day window, and then we've got Southampton, and then only three days, um, and then it's um, the first leg of the quarterfinals in the Champions League, where we take on Benfica. Well, the three days isn't too bad, and um, that's maybe expected. You know what I mean? That's what would normally happen. But to have like you know this sort of window here, the Wednesday, then the Saturday, yeah. Um, but you know some of these like fixtures could definitely be moved. You know what I mean? Like you know, for example, you could. Could have taken this Fulham one out of the equation, put it in there, maybe. You know what I mean? It wouldn't have like been too bad. Would have like you know broken things up a little bit, but it just seems to be the thing with like with with FIFA 19, you know, and 18 and 17 that the fixtures they still haven't fixed them. They are you know just terrible when it comes to it. So with regards to the Fulham and with regards to Southampton, they're going to be sort of mixed teams. They're not going to be our full, like, you know, top 11 because the full top 11 I want for the Benfica game. That's more important. And obviously, I still want to get across the line with these two. And I just feel that, you know, if I put out a mixed team, they should be able to beat these two teams. Like, obviously, on paper, and again, the other saying goes, football is not played on paper, but we have the better squads than those two sides anyway. Right, so lineups. Um, as you can see, bit of a mix. You know what I mean? You've got um, top three are up there. Like you know, there's no Neres is in um, the like cam roll. Henderson and Cater are in behind him. Then you've got Robertson, Van Dijk, Varane, and Alexander Arnold. So it's a little bit of a mix, but it's still pretty strong eleven that we're putting out here. With regards to Fulham, let's have a look at this. Well, there's not as strong. Look, they've got Ite. We'll go with that. That's bizarre. Um, he's only 69 rated. Got Bergwin on the other side. Um, no Sessignon. I've got a feeling they've sold him. He's not in there. They've got um, Seri is the strongest in the middle there. Um, anyone else that's maybe not expecting in there? Yeah, it's not. It's not the strongest of Fulham size, is it? Like, you know what I mean? Having Zambo in there as well alongside Kearney, but um, you'd probably expect that side apart from Iite. I I T. Okay, I apologise. I've just completely and utterly butchered that person's name. Right. Anyway, you know, for trying to like say his name, let's get on and stay, start playing. Hopefully, he won't get too many touches of the ball. Like here we go. Okay, Salah to Cater. Back to Cater. Um, back to Salah, I should say. Can you get it into Cater? Oh no, he's played it across to Jordan Henderson. Oh, and he's hit the bar. Mane needs to react, but. Defender was there quick. I thought he got that in the top corner, but he's hit the bar. Neres. Oh, it's a good header. Mo Salah now cuts it inside. Here's Neres again. And you go again to Bobby. I think he's offside. Is he offside? Yeah. Oh, Andy Robertson. Here we go. Chance. Neres is in. Come on. Oh, pull it back. Chance. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, I thought we actually got in each other's way. Someone that hasn't scored for a while, um, Mo Salah on the score sheet. Oh, that's something I need to do. Lex told me um, to, I need to bring Mo Salah and Mane in a little bit. Um, he says if I bring them in a little bit, they'll get more um, joy. But he nicely pulled it back here and it hit the back of Salah, I think, when Keita hit it. Oh, the, oh, it might have hit the defender and then the guy on the line was like, which way are you going? And... Salah just sticks it past him. Nicely done. Right, I need to go and move these players now, don't I? Back to the game. I think Neres has been a really good purchase, to be honest. Salah doing well. Can you pick out Bobby? He can. Thank you very much. We'll have that. 33 now for Bobby, I think. Nicely done by Salah. It's calm. Waited to see if Bobby can get himself into some space. So he sold, sold the like sort of defenders there. Nice footwork, and Bobby just flicks it through, gets it onto his left foot. Nicely done, and the goalkeeper's kind of blocked from his own player right in front of him. He couldn't really see where Bobby was going to hit that. Oh, it's a good challenge from Neres. It's a great little chance here. Can he get it through to Bobby Cabaselli? 
Panthers really well to get a leg in and put that out for the throw. Andy Robertson here to Mane, hooks it back. Right, Andy Robertson now whips this in. Chance for maybe Neres. Well played, Andy Robertson, and well played, David Neres. One for the header, two for the superb cross to pick him out. Uh, we're making light work of Fulham now. Look at this, lovely play, and just picks him out superbly. Not brilliant marking in that box there from the Fulham defenders. Pergwin. Oh, that's a nice play. It's good feet. Van Dyke's there. Allison does well. That was good play from Fulham. Every time I was I went to one way they, they, they quickly were able to change it and I was I was like slightly off and changes are coming. Is that Shirley coming on? Yeah. Van Dyke now. Is that Sadio? It's a hell of a ball. What a pass that is. Oh, that's a challenge. Great challenge there. Nicely done. Andy Robertson. Another chance to get... This time it's Salah in the middle. It's going to fall to Keita. Didn't take that down particularly well. And then the pass was... Keita's not had the best of games. Um, he's a bit off it a little bit. Like I say, high pressure from Fulham. They are literally... Every time I've got the ball, they are massively pressuring us um, here. They are determined to score. They've hit the crossbar. And a great save from Allison. They are just, it's so much pressure. I haven't got time on the ball. As soon as I've, the ball comes to me, there's a white shirt right on the back of me. Just don't have the, the, the time. Good save there from Allison. They just, they want to go, they know they can't win, um, but they want to get a goal to maybe get some momentum or something. But uh, Alice and um, Salah there. Throwing it out. Okay, they've gone back here. Oh, nicely done. Let me get this through here. Chance. Play it out. Oh, I need to just get over Fosu Mensa and Manny was away. Nicely done by Varane. Oxo Chimler with the header, but it's gone straight to Kamara. And trying to get the ball off Fulham now. It's just been nuts. Varane. Not the best ball across your goal there, Varane. No, he's offside, surely. Not offside. Thought he was clearly offside. They were de so determined to get a goal here. That's what they've been doing. I managed to keep him at bay, but I thought he was offside then. There we go. So he's playing the ball. No. Varane's playing him on. Yeah. Varane is playing him on. Here's Henderson. He can get this through. Can. Oh, is that a penalty? No, not given. Not given. But there we go. That's full time. We'll take the 3-1. To be fair to Fulham, they were they were pressuring the whole way through that, that match. Like to, to at least get a goal. That's what they were determined to get. Fulham fans, as you can hear, are not happy with that performance. They were booing their team off. Yeah, I mean it was quite close when you look at the, the stats and stuff when you look at it that way um, well, we just edged it in the end we just had better you know, shots on target than what they did when it comes to it, Mo Salah has actually picked the man of the match so Southampton up next Spurs get a draw 1-1 one, one. oh dear, the title is getting ever closer to Anfield that has not helped Spurs at all as you can see with the league table guys yeah, 6 points now we have a gap um, over Spurs and um, thanks to that Crystal Palace draw right so here are the two teams yet again we're in the in the purple um, Awake it yeah we're off to St Mary's for this one as you can see a few players on Southampton side not fully fit so they're obviously struggling with the fixture backup as well they're playing like a normal 4-4-2 Danny Ings is there but you know shouldn't really be as he's on loan like, um, but yeah um, I wonder if that's something that they will ever bring in that you can't you know, have lone players play against your, your parent club unless there's an option. That, you know, like when you like you've got the option when you like loan them out, it should be um, an option where it can be like, can you play against your parent club? So that's what it needs to be. You know, just that option. Um, but anyway, and there's goes out here. Can the Ox get this in? Mm, not the best ball then, is it? It's going to fall to Genie Wijnaldum. He's going to strike this. Going to take a deflection and a corner ball. 
wasn't sure it actually hit in there. It was quite a mixture of players, but I just thought I could hit it through the crowd. Uh, cut off the knee there. Right, uh, we need to run to the near post. And then play it into the middle and see if we can get someone in on this. Oh! It nearly worked. The lit there with the header, but it hit the foot of the post. Wow. Played forward. Great. Isco. Nice turn. Can you get the shot away? Deflected again. Best of guard. A lot heavier. Head uh, a lot heavier. A lot taller. Heavier? Um, he probably is a lot heavier as well, but he's a lot taller there. That's a, somehow they got that through. I thought the lit got the challenge in there. Luca Hernandez now. Oh! How is that not a foul? How is that not a foul? He just came in the back of me, and as I was about to strike it, and they've got a chance here. Yeah, Nusi. I mean, for a start, there should have been a foul. I mean, the referees are definitely against me now. And Ilan Nusi was just in acres of space by himself. Joe Gomez loses it, and because of that, Canseo is already down the other end of the field and couldn't come across he pushed too far up just trying to like play the ball out you can't sometimes it doesn't work you just press the button and sometimes it just does not work it's going out ah oh. again just plow into my players nothing doing if i'd done that the other way around there'd be a free kick i'm telling you right now here we go come on daniel storage is through Hit it. Thank you. There we go. They're pushing and pushing, and all it would have t all it needed was like that through ball, and eventually it would fall to us. But I suppose when you're down at the bottom, you've got you've got a challenge for every ball. So I can understand why Fulham and Southampton are playing the way they are. I suppose you know they, they are fighting for survival in the Premier League. You know we're already comfortable at the top, so. They'll have more of that grit and determination, won't they? When they're when they're you know, sort of livelihoods, I suppose, are on the line. Because some of these players, you know, could end up having to move clubs, not be on the same money, or staying with Southampton, being dropped in wages, you know. So it's it's a big, big, big thing when you're down relegation. Playing it around really well, and I can't. You know, when they start doing, when the computer starts doing this, it's so hard to get it off from. Here's Canseo. Chamberlain now, into Daniel Sturridge, chance here, Isco, no free kick, and Isco is injured, are you kidding me, I needed him to be, oh, this is the danger of playing, Isco is injured, he's only just getting up now, here's Shakiri. nice turn from him, Shakiri. it's going to fall to Vinicius, oh, he's just got no power in the shot, it was so tame. Oh, and this go is injured. I'm taking him off at half time. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Buddy Ref has not helped us at all in this game. Pulls it back. Oh, come on. What is wrong? My players are just not. It's just not on it at the moment. They really are not on it. I don't know where the heads are at right now. But Isco is going to have to come off. Okay, took Isco off, and I brung young um, Cook has come on um, in place of him. Here's Oxley Chamberlain. There's a chance through the middle here. Shakiri, can you get the ball through? Oh, God damn it, another player is down in the box. But referee is not willing to give me anything at the moment. Oh, this is nice play. Can you get the ball in? It's nice. Oh, pressure it so much look at them they just will not won't let me go the ref is doing nothing that's the same that's not it's not a foul it's a foul all day long Shakiri's first touch was terrible it's too heavy Chamberlain in Daniel Sturridge knock it back inside why did it go across to here I want to just knock back inside and he's played it all the way out and then I'd already shot I didn't really want to bring him on, but I'm going to bring him Fabinho. I wanted to save him. It's played across. Here we go. Oh, God. It's because he's a young player and his first touch was terrible. Pull back inside. And you get the ball. Oh, they just closed him down. Two players there. They're so determined to close him down. 
Southampton will be so pleased to have a point off this. Played inside, Shakiri just his first touch again. The just uh, first touches in this match and passing has been absolutely shocking. Come on, don't want Danny Ings, but he getting involved in this. Shakiri, nice turn. Cook, here we go. Fabinho, hit Daniel Sturridge through. Then again, Daniel's not as quick as what he used to be. Uh, he's going to have to turn back. Outside of the foot. I was worried how he was going to play that shot. <laughs> but well done, Daniel Sturridge. Wow. He's not as quick as what he was, so I knew that they would catch him up. Turns inside, outside the foot, beats McCarthy. Well done. They, they were just literally all surrounding our box and I knew we could get a breakaway. Oof. Okay. The introduction of Fabinho has definitely helped in that midfield. Um, just winning some tackles and stuff, you know. Just go long. There we go. Take three points. Well done, Southampton. You gave it a good shot, just like Fulham did. The game even tried by messing my passing up, making sure my players weren't at the strength that it says in their stats. So this is what it does, the game does, you know. But well done to Daniel. Two goals in that game. Yeah, I mean, Southampton didn't really come out to, to try and get a win. They would, would have been happy with a draw. Um, just hope Isco is not out for too long. Got a feeling he's going to be out for the first leg. I just hope by taking him off at half time that he's not going to be out to be too long. But let's see what the damage is, shall we? Three weeks. Sprained knee. Okay. Um, yeah, that's going to miss both legs, I think. That was always a risk, wasn't it? But we've got cover, you know. Um, we can't really grumble when it comes to it. Like not like we did on FIFA 18, whenever I lost like Salah and Mane for like seven months. Like you know, what I mean that was just absolutely nuts, wasn't it? Like you know. Um, but yeah, we can get by. It's, it's it's we can always play David Neres in there. He, he played really well. Um, every time he seems to be on the field lately. So, but anyway, let's um, travel to Portugal and take on Benfica. Right, well, this wasn't planned. I didn't expect like the three um, games to <laughs> be wearing the actual <laughs> away kit, like, but it's worked out that way, like, you know. So, um, yeah, um, as you can see, um, they're playing pretty much the same formation apart from instead of having a, a cam, they've got a, a CDM instead, like in Facer. Um, Alison Taliska, um, I was tempted to buy him for Liverpool, but I actually, like, you know, possibly, you know, got him in for. Um, my Malaga team now, like I mean, now that they've got promoted um, in La Liga, so he is going to be a massive threat. Um, Smedo, um, pretty pretty good as well. Rafa's good. Um, Castillo, yeah, Servi's quite good as well. So on paper, again, you look at the two sides, you know what I mean, and, and we totally, if you look at the overalls, absolutely smash them, like you know what I mean, but. It's going to be a hostile atmosphere in Portugal um, and we'll see um, if we can pick up some away goals um, and not you know get have to play catch up um, when we come back to Anfield um, next week so yeah here we go Ooh, as you can see no nil between Real Madrid and Barca and 2-2 between Hoffenheim and Juventus interesting um, well I mean must admit EA have done a fantastic job of the presentation for the Champions League and stuff, so it does give you that sort of like buzz, you know, going into it. It is a you know a huge competition, and it's one that like most clubs in Europe, I think every club in Europe would, wants to lift, you know. So here we go then. Let's see if we can do the business in in leg one. He got the challenge, but he couldn't get control of the ball. Van Dijk again getting, yeah, oh, he's managed to get himself through. And now find Salah. Okay, here's Bobby Firmino looking to hold this up. We go back to Salah. Nicely done. Nice little chip over. Pulls it back. Chance Mane. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, that was a lovely move. Lovely work move. Just didn't result in a goal. That's a scare for them. Neres inside. Bobby Firmino, surely. That's the start we wanted. Oh, if that... If that one just before where we hit the post, that was such a well worked move. The little chip out from Bobby Firmino was nicely weighted to um, to Mo Salah. It caught Semedo out and then Manny hits the post, but then it 
luckily they just couldn't get get clear of it. We kept the pressure on, and Bobby Firmino slots in yet again because he keeps finding that net, doesn't he? Has this angered the beast, though? That's the question. It's Taliska. Keg is trying to win it off him, but he is strong. Varane's there, and it's not, again, not given as a foul. Varane goes down under a challenge. Castillo has equalised. I mean, I don't know what has happened, but since the update, the referee has lost his whistle, especially when it comes to my team, anyway. What happens here with Varane? Uh, maybe he just... Mm, benefit of the doubt he just fell on his own accord no no he didn't he Castillo lifted his leg up into like um, Varane and has knocked him off balance and then he's able to score the referee oh, that is that's a foul I'm sorry that is a foul he lifted his leg it, it came on the like sort of like trailing leg of like Varane which then lost his balance Salah, Keita's still going. Oh, that's a penalty. Oh, come on. I'm not getting anything. You know full well. You know full well if I'd have done that to a Benfica player, the, the, the referee is blowing his whistle. It's bad enough like playing the computer on ultimate, but having the referee do what he's doing as well is, is just taking the piss. It's like, you know... Right, Trent Alexander-Arnold's done well to win that back. Crowd going wild here for the Portuguese. Taliska now into Castillo, who cheated. But, you know, there we go. Knocks it inside. Here we go, Neres, chance. Can Neres finish? Neres can finish. Wow. David Neres is just one of my best signings, totally. Pushes forward here, just picks the ball up. Pushes into the box, gets himself a bit of space, and bang, top corner. Okay, second away goal. Let's see what happens now. Will they foul us again to get another goal? Cheating little gets. Well, not cheating, are they? It's the referee that's been paid off, hasn't it? Nicely done by Mane to win that off Taliska. Here's Servi now. Held up well by Trent. There we go. That's hit off him, surely. Oh, come on, we hit it off him. That was obvious when he came off him. I, the way the, the angle was. Oh, my God. I'm not even getting throw-ins now. Andy Robertson with the header. I'm not even getting throw-ins going for me. The way I, I actually aimed it so I hit it at him and it like it did come off him. Here's Neres inside. You've got Cater, Bobby Firmino. You've got Salah as the other man. It's Mo Salah. Yes, how did he get that through? How has he just got that through? I pressed the wrong button, so Salah's doing like a weird celebration, so I apologise for that. Um, I suppose press A and press B. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's right, yeah, I thought for a minute. Um, but I don't know how that has got underneath the keeper. This keeper is dodgy. I was like, got to get it out to him, cut it inside. It's gone under his leg, hasn't it? See it from this angle. Yeah, it's gone through his leg. Wow. And then he's took out his own defender there as well. <laughs> Who's going where? We'll go out here to Trent. Great ball. Salah. Oh, what a save. Now he pulls off a worldy save. Wow. He's going to bring some fresh legs on. Mane is going to go off. And I'm going to bring um, Vinicius on. Vinicius. Oh, what a save. Bobby. Oh, Conti's there. Nicely done. Fabinho. Knocks it inside. Nabi. Come on. Well done, Nabi. He's had a really good game in this one. He played, which one was it? Fulham or was it Southampton? I can't remember. Whichever the, the one we, the game that we, he's been in tonight. I think it was Fulham and he played not very well. This one, he's been on it. Look at that. Lovely, lovely strike. Watch this. Outside of the foot. Curl, look at this. Woohoo! Nice curl. You ain't saving that. Brilliant. Nabi giving us a massive cushion going into the second leg. 
four away goals we have scored. Cases there. Come on. Neres. Get the right pass through. Bobby. Oh. Oh, what? He doesn't go down without getting hit, surely. I mean, why has he gone down there? Like, you know what I mean? I mean, that is ridiculous. That's another, another challenge. Keepers come. Oh, he's put it wide. Well done, Alisson, for... It's there. He pushed him, forced him to put it wide. It's 4-1, guys. That means Benfica have to score four goals at Anfield to, because if they get three, which makes it four all, it's not enough for them. They have to get four. So, like I say, one foot is in the semi-finals. Um, it's a tough game and the fact that the referee is an absolute knobhead, like, you know, um, doesn't help. Didn't give us a single free kick in that whole game. Didn't even give us like a throw in when I hit it directly at one of their players. But there we go. That is the final game of today. Atletico Madrid winning 3-2. Schalke getting a couple of away goals. That could be helpful for them. I prefer if Schalke could knock Atletico out. Because, yeah. Um, but I've got a feeling that Atletico will, um, will progress. But there we go, guys. Yeah, that is... Um, today's episode i hope you've enjoyed this week's worth of um videos i will be back again on monday enjoy your weekend um, i hope you have a good one and i hope to catch you all guys um, back for liverpool again on monday malaga season two will be starting on tuesday guys so um if you look at the players that i've got on the transfer list or not, yeah transfer list um you've got those you know the players that i'm looking at if you look at those and, you, and if you can tell me which ones of those you think that I should maybe bring in, you might think that this squad's fine, you know what I mean? I don't think it is. It does need improving in certain areas and stuff. So your feedback will be fantastic. And um, can't wait to, to listen to what you've got to say. Well, not listen, but read what you've got to say. Um, that'd be awesome. But um, yeah, if you've enjoyed today's video, a thumbs up would be massively appreciated. Thanks to all the new subscribers that are, that are coming on board. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, feel free to comment down below um, just to get your feedback on, on what's going on um, and thanks to obviously the guys that have been here for ages like you know what I mean you guys are amazing so take it easy like I say have a great weekend I'll catch you next time Dave from Moomongo Gaming signing off cheers <laughs>